I need you like the ocean needs the water or it will run dry I need you like the many stars above needs the setting on the sky I need you like tomorrow needs the hours of today to pass by Lord, I need you more than ever. So hear my humble cry. I need the old. I need the I wait. I need you to direct my path in every step I take. I need you, Lord, to keep me. I need your mercy and your grace. Yes, I need you more than. You promise never to forsake. I wish somebody would help me right through here. Say, I need this. Say, Kobo The tonight our guest speaker tonight amen is none other than reverend reverend Juanita O'Neill amen is a she's a dedicated minister at uh, Mabelise Crossroad Missionary Baptist Church in Nightdale North Carolina where they are a strong Christian uh, strong Christ-centered church under the leadership of reverend dr. James S Utterly and so without further ado, we want to welcome, amen, tonight our guest speaker, Reverend Juanita O'Neill. Amen. God bless you. Amen. To God be the glory. God bless you all. I am honored to be the guest 
speaker for tonight, to God be the glory. Um, we'll get right into the word. And if you have your Bibles, turn with me to 1 Peter. 1 Peter, the 5th chapter. That's 1 Peter, 5th chapter, verses 1 through 6. Amen. 1 Peter. Chapter 1, I mean, chapter 5, and I'm just going to begin reading, I'm just going to read verse 6 for us. Therefore, humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due season. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due season, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Again, verse 6, therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due season, in due time. And if I were to put a topic on this message tonight, it would be simply remain humble. Your time is due. Hallelujah. Remain humble for your time is due. I want to encourage us tonight as uh, we look at this, the word of God, that we need to recognize that God has a purpose and a plan and a season for everything that he has ordained for our lives. It's a good thing to be in, in God's purpose and in his plan and in his will. And it's even a better thing to be sent with the plan of God and his timing. Hello, somebody. God knows all about us, so it doesn't matter what you're going to do. He has a purpose and a plan for whatever it is that you're going through. And at the appointed time, you will see the manifestation of what it was all about. Hallelujah. Being that this month, October, is considered clergy appreciation month, I really want to encourage those of us who are ministers of the word of God, whoever you are, whatever capacity God has called you to function in, I encourage you to get focused, stay focused, and be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For you know that your labor is not in vain. Amen? So most of all, I, I just feel the need to encourage us tonight to remain humble. For God is getting ready to do some mighty and great work in us. He's getting ready to, to do some mighty and great work in you. But you've got to remain humble for your time is due. Yes, your time is coming due. The time where God is going to exalt you higher in him. A time when many of your prayers will be answered quickly. There's going to come a time when we will see many of our dreams and destinies manifested and fulfilled. A time when the third hope becomes reality. We're going to see and experience a time in our lives when the glory of the Lord will be revealed in us with a greater weight of his glory. A time when God will use us in gifts and anointing that some of us thought we weren't even worthy to operate from. Hello, somebody. But God is saying tonight that with him all things are possible. If you only believe, God is wanting to use you to do mighty exploits in his name. But you got to remain humble. For your due time will come. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to remain humble. Humble yourself under the 
mighty hand of God that he may, that he may exalt you in due time. Now, at the time when Peter wrote this letter, many Christians were being violently persecuted. I'm going to stop for a moment and ask you ever, um, could you mute your phone, please? At the time when Peter wrote this letter, many Christians were being violently persecuted and attacked by their governing authorities. So Paul writes this letter to both encourage and challenge the people in the midst of their trials. But what interesting <coughs> is, Peter doesn't tell them to fight back. He doesn't tell them to um uh, to physical weapons. He he doesn't encourage the people to run and hide. In other words, he does not admonish them to take matters in their own hands. Hello, somebody. But instead, Peter encourages the people to humble themselves under the almighty hand of God. Hello, somebody. Many of us as believers and ministers oftentimes find ourselves under the attack of the enemy, under attack in our bodies, under attack in our families, attack in our churches, attack in our communities. Even some people that are very close to us, we find we find ourselves under attack. But God wants to encourage us tonight and reassure us tonight that He has us in the power of His hand. And it's okay to humble ourselves under His hand. Hello, somebody. For many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord said He'll deliver us out of them all. Glory to God. Just remain. Let him do that. Remain humble. Humble is translated from the Greek word "papi noah," which means to make low, to bring low, or to assign to a lower rank or position. It does not mean that you're worthless, but it just simply means you know how to take the correct posture and stand in honoring God and his word as the highest and the final authority. Being humble is recognizing that that, that God is higher than than any other power. He's he's more powerful than anyone else. He's smarter than anybody in the earth, anybody in the heavens of the earth. He's more powerful, more smarter, more higher than any power person or principality, or any trial or tribulation. When we humble ourselves, we simply yield to the will and plan of God for our lives. Hello, somebody. Sometimes that's hard to do, but there's a reward in humbling and yielding to the will of God. So we are not humbling. We got to remember that we're not humbling ourselves under the hand of just uh, any human authority, but we are under it, humbling ourselves under the hand of God Almighty, the everlasting God, the everlasting Father, the one who, whose mighty hand brought the children of Israel out of bondage from the hand of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. We got to remember that we're humbling our, ourselves under the one, the, the hand who, who brought the Red Sea and enabled the children of Israel to cross over in dry land. Hallelujah. You've got to remember that we are humbling ourselves under the same mighty hand who crossed and dried up the Jordan River so Joshua could lead the children of Israel into the promised land. Glory to God. I, I just want to let you know tonight that if you are still waiting in to search your promises to be fulfilled, and if you are ready to see more people delivered and set free from death and bondages, you need to just hurt yourself under the mighty hand of God. Hallelujah. Humble yourself. God has to take us through the process of 
us dying to ourselves. He, he has to take us through seasons of humility so that when he uses us to pray for the sick and, and they recover, he, he, he wants to know that we will give him credit for it. That was somebody. You see, when, 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 we, when we see signs and wonders and miracles begin to follow us after we minister the word of God, all, all we can see is the know and let God know that he instructs us to not be caught up, but we will recognize who gave us the ability to then give the anointing and give the credit to the one the credit is due. The Lord God Almighty, who we seen on, with these crown hands, you must understand that 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 the interested in humble is pride. Hallelujah. Pride. Is, is simply the exalting of one's self. It's just the belief in one's self and word. We find many scriptures in, in the book of Proverbs 1 and the book of Proverbs 16 and 18 declares that pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. Proverbs 29 and 23 declares a man's pride shall bring him low. The honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Hallelujah. And as Father of the Lamb, he declares that when pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. Pride is simply the exalting of oneself and not God. And in the eyes of God, this is simple. Because God is a jealous God and we should have no other God before him, not even ourselves. Come on, someone. God. So therefore, we have to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may, he may exalt us in due time. You see, he can only exalt us if we are humbling ourselves under his mighty hand. And that's the mighty hand we're talking about. The very word exalt simply means to lift up, to lift up him high. And we know that Jesus was humbled unto death, but death highly exalted him. So I'm telling you today, if you want to be exalted, if you want to do more, if you want to see more, if you want to operate out of your God's spirit, you've got to humble yourself under his mighty hand. We must, we have to, die to ourselves daily because we have been bought with a price and we're not our own. We must always remember that we need help from our Savior and that just because he humbled himself and took on the throne of a servant and became obedient to death to save us, we too must follow his example. We must follow his example for in Matthew 11, 29 tells us to take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. Yes, we must remain humble. For greater land have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. Yes, we must remain humble. Because our season is due. Hallelujah. I want you to just think about something. The very root of our salvation is humility from God through Jesus Christ. But it was the lack of humility that made redemption necessary. You see, the first Adam walked in pride and not humility, which brought sin into all men unto all mankind. But thanks be to God for Jesus. That last Adam, who humbled himself, taking on the form of a servant, so that we could have abundant life. You see, humility is an attitude toward God that gives him credit for who we serve and what we do. So I want to encourage us tonight to remain humble. Keep the humility. 
In due time, you got to hold on. In due time, he will bless you. He will exalt you. He will bring you forth like the gold. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Father God, we thank you for this word. We thank you, God, that there is a due time for us all. We thank you, God, that you give us the ability to humble ourselves, to seek your faith, to turn from anything that is not pleasing to you. Father God, we thank you, God, that you will see that if we will acknowledge you in all our ways, you will direct our path. So God, tonight we will thank you, God, that you have expectations of direction. You have expectations, God, as you humble ourselves.
Come on, before you just lose your mind, just sit down real quickly before you just start shouting and before everybody just start acting crazy. Sit down real quickly. Come on, just sit down. We got to move on in the service. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. So much trouble makes me cry sometimes. I live. But that's alright all right. Cause I know
Mayflower Seafood Restaurant, a new discovery in seafood enjoyment for lunch, dinner, or for takeout. Everyone has a talent. At Mayflower, our talent is seafood. Serving large broad platters, fried seafood platters, chicken and USDA steak, steamed seafood, and daily specials. Visit us in Winterville, Wilson, Rocky Mount, and Roanoke Rapids. Mayflower Seafood Restaurant, a new discovery of seafood enjoyment with every visit. Have a Sprite and cheer for Sonia. Look for Starbucks coffee in a grocery store near you, then sit back and enjoy the exceptional taste of Starbucks at home.
It's the Honda Summer Spectacular event, which means more of this. The kind of elation you can only experience after getting a great deal on a Honda Civic or Civic Hatchback. Oh, it's for you. Or an Accord. All come standard with the Honda Sensing suite of safety and driver assisted features. And as you can see, all will provide you with plenty of joy. Come be a part of it today. Captain Eve's about to pick you up and spread you out, just like our freshly prepared North Atlantic lobster and our giant mystery fish. Where's it come from? We don't have a clue, but we said, hey, let's put those bad boys in a bun. It's giant. It's delicious. It's got minimal traces of mercury. It's the new seafood sandwiches from Captain D's. That's right. You'll need both hands when the captain's calling. Captain D's Seafood Kitchen. Sunday at the same time, the same place, the same station, the Timmy Radio Broadcast, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and also we'll be here tomorrow morning, Monday, at 11.30 Eastern Standard Time for the Reading Room Radio Show with your radio host, Minister Myron Whitaker, and at 10.30 Central Time, you can find him here. Listen, we pray that you had a blessed day today in worship service, amen. Amen. And do continue to pray for your neighbors. Pray for one another. Continue to lift each other up in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank everyone for being a part of this TMA Radio broadcast. And we say good evening. And we'll see you on the next live broadcast. God bless you. And may heaven smile upon each and every one of you. God bless you.